Hey everyone, it's Ash from Super Videos. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something hilarious to talk about. The complex Marshall vs. Slim Shady face-off interview. Trust me, this is a must-watch for all Eminem fans out there. So let's break it down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. First things first, the skit is set somewhere in the Detroit multiverse, which immediately sets a fun and quirky vibe. It feels like we're diving into an alternate universe where anything can happen. The premise, Marshall Mathers is going head to head with his notorious alter ego Slim Shady in a therapy style showdown. And get this, Slim Shady's appearance and voice were AI generated. While the visuals were a bit off at times, the audio was pretty fantastic. I'm sure that Eminem set the dialogue and then they added the Slim Shady AI touch to it afterwards. So I'm sure that that helped into making the audio feel pretty decent. But overall, it worked pretty well and added to the surreal comedic effect of the skit. Now let's talk about the setup. The skit starts with Marshall and Slim Shady sitting on opposite sides, fitting the face-off theme perfectly. They're in front of curtains from the Encore album cover, which is a cool easter egg for all you die-hard Eminem fans. It's those little details that make the whole experience even more enjoyable. Shady makes his entrance beside Marshall as if summoned, possibly through the portal from the Houdini music video off the Death of Slim Shady album. And in true Slim Shady fashion, he kicks things off by reciting the iconic lyrics, Guess Who's Back, and introducing himself with, Hi, my name is Slim Shady. Guess who's back. What the fuck? Back again. Really? Shady's okay. back. This guy. Tell a friend. You gonna sing the whole song? Guess who's back. Ha! My name is... Chicka 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 Slim Shady! We know who you are, bro. Bro, cool story. Marshall, not missing a beat, hilariously responds with, Are you gonna sing the whole song? And, We know who you are, bro. Classic Eminem humor right there. Eminem definitely showed off his acting chops here because he was really talking to himself, but he made it seem genuine and funny. So, it's definitely a good audition tape for Eminem if he's thinking of moving on to acting from here. Bro, cool story. But one of the most standout moments is when Shady's face switches to a Jason Voorhees mask. It's quick, but it's a clever nod to his darker horrorcore style. It's these fleeting clever touches that keep you engaged and laughing. There's also a scene where Shady takes pills a direct reference to Eminem's addiction in the past. And they suddenly make it seem like the shady look is wearing off, with a beard appearing on him like the new Eminem, until shady takes more pills. It's a funny yet poignant visual representation of Eminem's battle with his alter ego and past struggles. The fuck you say? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Using big words around me, motherfucker. I love that particular moment. And then there's the moment where Shady takes a drink of gin and juice. Perfect ad placement for Dre and Snoop's album. And the drink, I think Snoop is selling. Marshall being 16 years sober. By the way, huge congrats on that. It's a big accomplishment. But he mentions his sobriety. And Shady just takes a sip of the drink in his usual I just don't give an F style. It's funny. It's irrelevant and it's so Slim Shady. The entire skit feels like a therapy session with Eminem using Slim Shady to voice all the things people have been saying about him. It's like he's dissing himself through Shady, using criticisms from fans and critics. It's reminiscent of his 8 mile move where he dissed himself before anyone else could. Speaking of that, there's a moment where Shady mocks Marshall and says, are you gonna 
freestyle me to death or battle rap me to death, which I thought was hilarious. I did have a theory that we're gonna get a freestyle or battle type of track in the death of Slim Shady where the two of them are battle rapping each other. So I just thought that it was hilarious that they mentioned that given my theory. Anyway, Shady says Dre, Jimmy Iovine, and Paul Rosenberg sent him the bat signal, singing the well, I'm back. from Gatman and Robin, indicating an intervention because Eminem needs to make a comeback and revive his career. Speaking of that, bat signal disconnects almost perfectly to the Houdini music video as well, where Shady came out of the portal. But let's talk a little bit about Shady saying that Eminem needs to revive his career. This was a great moment because it was a moment where we actually hear them going back and forth about Eminem's 25 year career and the things that Eminem was able to accomplish without Shady and the things that Shady brought to the table. Shady says, Everything that people think of when they think of Eminem is fucking yours truly. From the blonde hair to the middle finger to the fucking jokes, all of it, me. Starting with the blonde hair, the middle finger, the funny lines, and just not giving a damn about anything, and really not having any boundaries. Which is true, I'm not gonna lie, but at the same time, like Marshall says, there's lots of things that he's responsible for that Shady had nothing to do with. Like Stan, love the way you lie, not afraid, and so on. It is hilarious though that Shady mocks Eminem when he says Stan and love the way you lie by clapping and saying congratulations. You wrote the national anthem for stalkers and domestic abusers. Also Shady mocks Eminem about his new style not being it. So basically saying your new fast rap style is not it. And saying that he thought that it was AI generated to which Marshall responds with how can computers write rap God? So I thought that was a cool moment there as well. But there are also tons of other humorous moments. Shady mocks Eminem about being old, his new content not hitting the mark like I said, and going after soft rappers. He mentioned Ja Rule, Moby, Fred Durst, and Christina Aguilera. He was just saying that you go after people that don't really have the rapping capabilities to come back at you on the mic. But cleverly, Eminem fires back, pointing out that Shady does the same thing. He goes after pop stars and non-rapper celebrities. They even talk a little bit about Christopher Reeve, which I thought was funny. And I love that Shady says Reeves and Eminem says Reeve and says there's no S on it. And then Shady says, then why is there an S on his chest? To which Eminem says, pronouns or something like that. I thought that scene was super hilarious as well. Like the whole back and forth in that particular interaction. Shady even pokes fun at Eminem's relapse album and the accents to which Marshall, although agreeing on the criticism, says it's a classic album to a generation. I have my opinions on relapse. I think there are tracks that work, but there are tracks that just don't work. But overall, I wouldn't say that it's Eminem's worst album or anything of that nature. One of the best exchanges though is when they argue about who made back. Neither wants to take responsibility for what they consider their worst track. And I would agree, that was Eminem's worst track. I love the track, but it's Eminem's worst track. Like, content wise, it's garbage. But it is hilarious and it is catchy as hell. But neither wants to take responsibility. They even mention it takes balls to put that on the greatest hits album as the number one track, which I thought was hilarious that they mentioned that. This self-deprecating humor is what makes Eminem so relatable and entertaining. There is also a bizarre scene where Shady says MGK slept with Marshall's mother. Not in those words, but you can imagine how shady would word that. But you get the point. Marshall's response, he did, but she's your mother too. It's a weird moment, but it fits the chaotic and irrelevant nature of the skit. 
They also recreate the Paul Rudd meme from Hot Ones with, hey, look at us. Hey, look at us. Who'd have thought? Not me. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. I thought that was cool and clever. It's a fun nod to internet culture and shows that Eminem is still in touch with what's trending. Something else he says that's extremely interesting is the strategy that Shady has, and I think it's a strategy that Eminem in general has. The truth is the people still want me. Bro, you're just doing the same shit you always do. Make the fucking single fake controversial without really offending anyone, and then put all the fucked up shit on the deep cut so that people talk about the album after it drops. Then when they get offended, you get on your poor me victim shit, and act all fucking self-righteous when everyone's fucking against me. It's a tactic where you put a false controversial track or a fake controversial track as your single in the case of the death of Slim Shady, Houdini, and then you put the real cut, most controversial stuff in the album itself to draw in people to listen and see what it's about. It's definitely true for the death of Slim Shady and it's true for almost all Eminem singles from previous albums. Also, Eminem indirectly references Drake, and I think he really references the beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. They're talking about fat people and all of that, and Eminem says, we literally cured fatness. There's a shop for it. It's popular. And then Shady comes back with, I heard it's got a side effect of jealousy. Which, if you remember, is something Drake said about Rick Ross on Family Matters. It's not about Kendrick, but it's about that beef. It's during that beef, I should say. Also, to make it even more interesting, Eminem says to Shady, BBL Slizzy. Obviously, BBL Drizzy, BBL Slizzy, Drake, Slim Shady. It's definitely a reference, and it's walking a fine line between being an indirect subtle diss and just poking fun you know what i mean but at the end of the day they come to an agreement marshall and slim shady find peace with each other accepting that eminem is the best of both worlds it's not about marshall or shady but about the fans and entertaining them this ties in perfectly with the hybrid concept teased in houdini this skit opens the door for a side b to the death of Slim Shady, which is super exciting. But maybe instead of the whole side B being either Shady or Marshall, depending on which order you listen to side A, but maybe it'll be a collaboration between Shady and Marshall instead of a battle like side A was. Before we continue, let me plug my merch store here real quick. We've just launched brand new merch in our store. If you love the breakdowns and discussions we have here, you're going to love these designs. We've got You're About to Enter the Breakdown Zone, perfect for all you hardcore fans, Breakdown Playground, for those who enjoy diving deep into our content, and Listen, Think, Repeat, to keep you inspired. So head over to Super Videos Entertainment Store, check out the new swag, and show your support. The link is in the description. And can we talk about photos released by Complex. They show Eminem with an actor stand-in for Shady, which is then generated into Shady himself using AI. The photo shoot is filled with Easter eggs, like the car paying homage to the Slim Shady LP album cover, and even the curtains, like I said, paying homage to Encore. But it's basically Shady kidnapping Marshall. This could actually somehow connect to the music video for Guilty Conscience 2, if there is a music video, which I hope there is. And the reason why is because Guilty Conscience 2 featured Shady and Marshall going back and forth. And it seemed like Shady had kidnapped Marshall and, you know, he was in the back of the trunk or something like that. But by the end of it, Marshall seemingly killed Shady in that track. But... Who knows, maybe if there's a music video and we see visuals, that'll tell us a completely different story. Maybe it's a twist. Maybe neither die. That would be super interesting. But that's it for the breakdown. If you haven't seen this skit yet, go check it out. It's hilarious, clever, 
and a must watch for any stands out there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more breakdowns and discussions. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.